Hey guys, Complexity here, what's going on? Today we're going to play some Factory IO, and so let's get started. So new game, single player, we're just going to do the regular free play. I usually put all this on max, because, uh, just kind of a quality of life type deal. Enemy bases, we want a bunch. Alright, let's begin, this is the seed we're going with. Here's our ship. Yeah, so the general goal of this game is, uh, you crash land on this planet, right? And your goal is to get back home to your base. Yeah, so here it is. This is my factory of free play. Your task is to launch a rocket into space. You'll need to research advanced technologies in order to unlock the rocket silo. Start small and work your way up with automation, and don't forget to protect yourself from the natives. That pretty much sums it up. So let's pick up all the materials from that. So as you can see, there's already some aliens that are pretty close by. Good part, because we got all this resource right here for us. So we're going to get started. Alright, so then we'll do this. And have our first full automation right there. Alright guys. So I got everything I need to start on the next phase of everything. I just need to craft it. So I figured I couldn't use the big water source over here because there's these this huge nest that's actually growing. Um, so I came down here to this little water source and we can start pumping water from this. It's closer anyway, I guess, so kind of works out. Alright, so we're going to do kind of a crappy little setup for the beginning here. Cheaply as possible. Because I don't have much. I ain't even sure. Yeah. I actually need to get more copper. But we pretty much got it now. We just need more coal. Ah, shit. Okay, so it looks like uh, we're being attacked already. Yeah, we're probably going to lose all of these. So they're fairly weak right now still, but yeah, we lost a little bit of our stuff. Because they changed the difficulty and because they're so close, the, the beginning here is going to be a little rough. The good part though is that we're going to do produce um, quite a lot less pollution because we don't need to use the burners. Now, we can make these bad boys, the electric mining drills. They're also faster and better. Okay, so let me start setting it up, and then as many conveyors as possible. So just to move away for a little bit, we're going to come down here, and we're just going to set up conveyors to produce a lot of iron. I didn't even think to make those. But before anything, we gotta power these. So it requires 50 coal. Or just coal in general, not 50. And there we go, now we're pumping it out. Okay, so for now we'll manually place it. So we don't have to waste too much resource. Alright, so now we can pick it up from here and drop it in there when we need it. We're just kind of have to expand kind of gradually. Alright, so now we have a copper shortage. So we gotta get the copper going. And we're gonna have a very similar setup for that. I know that's not exactly efficient right now. I'm not using prefabs because I don't usually have any. I think the goal of this is literally going to be to make the planet better than the home one. We want a research lab. 
All right, we got another attack. Looks like we need some repair kits here soon. So that means our pollution is reaching up to that nest, so we gotta take care of it as soon as possible. So we'll immediately start researching that. And then start researching that one. Alright, so we gotta just keep an eye out, because they do send waves every once in a while here. We don't have any automatic weapons, so we gotta take care of everything manually. So we gotta be careful not to expand too quick. So see how the pollution kind of hits him occasionally? We're lucky he doesn't hit these other ones, too. But it will eventually get him again. Alright, so we're gonna do this now. So I don't have to keep going back and forth, and so it doesn't stop. Alright, so the second that I finish researching all this, we're going to just go take out that nest. Because it's starting to piss me off. Alright, so we got a better gun. And then we want to keep fish on the hot bar, because I feel like... Gosh darn it. Maybe I can get him to target some of this stuff while I freaking... I almost had it. Yeah, so I need a lot more ammo, apparently. Noted. Fuck, and I forgot. I'm gonna need... Full. Might help if I actually feed this into something. There we go. I'm gonna need a lot of this freaking stuff. I also need more fish. They're going to attack me because they know I walked away. So for those of you guys who didn't know, this is how you catch fish in this game. Pretty cool. Alright, 60 rounds. How much, how much can we take on with that? So I got one of them. Fuck. Alright, so I guess we're just going to have to deal with the fact that we're going to get attacked. So research into, like... So it costs 30 bottles times a... I don't know, so it's 100 bottles and it's 30 seconds each one. Alright, so we're just going to expand and just kind of have ammo ready to deal with them when they attack. Hmm, that's going to be tricky. We can do light armor, too. Since I'm not going to need these bad boys. I think I'm going to do like a mini little setup. So what I'm going to do is basically just research... Or just try and pump out as many of those uh, red research bottles into... Researching as I can. I have nowhere near the iron I need, so we're going to first mass produce iron. And because of the aliens, we can only do that so fast. There. Maximum iron production. Then I'm even going to have a little guy right here that makes gears for me. And they're going to be stored right there. I just figured that will save me trouble when it comes to crafting them later. There we go. Still not producing enough. 
I really want to start automating stuff, but I'm just worried that the, we're going to get attacked and then it's all going to get destroyed. So I need to, like I said, get a bunch of iron and then just be ready somehow. How's the pollution doing? Alright, so we're going to get attacked any minute. From two fronts. Yeah, right, it, right as I freaking call it. We're going to need a bunch of pipes too. Want a lot of those. That should be enough to finish that off. Logistics 2, we aren't going to get to for a while. We don't need steel. Walls, those are probably not bad to research, but these are also good. We're going to get automatic firearms next. And we're out of coal. We're going to go ahead and do that because we need coal. And then do that. Yeah, I saw that coming. Alright, we just need to make sure we keep it supplied with some power. I think I'm actually going to automate something for the first time. I think I'm going to bring up the coal from down there. So like down here and bring it up there. They don't think they'll attack it. Alright. Kind of hoping on this one. I know the stone wall won't finish, but... Okay, so we should be good on everything else. Pretty much just... Probably want to just tear that down. Collect a little bit, we don't need too much. That's not good. I find it crazy I was able to like shoot through the buildings. I'm also surprised they didn't attack that. Oh, they did. They destroyed the power line. Gotcha. Alright, let's get these walls going. Okay, let me make sure those are producing. I need more research and I need it faster, so we're going to go ahead and just do this number. We're also going to place one of these down in the middle of everything so we can see what's going on. Same deal over here. Cool, so we can kind of spy on them. Looks like they got a group forming up there. Okay, almost got damage. What I really need is more iron now.
Looks like this might be my biggest threat at the moment. So as soon as physical damage and shooting speed are upgraded, I'll probably send stuff over. Actually, I got an idea. Let's really piss off the aliens. Let's expand. Low in power again. Means I need more of those, and more of those. Alright, we need to go take care of those nests. Any minute now. How much ammo is in this thing? Forty-seven? It's not enough. Right, so we're gonna go ahead and make all those. That's not what I meant to do. I didn't want to dump all those in there. Yeah. Gosh darn it. We're gonna just disconnect the power from that whole side of the base so they don't attack it. We need more ammo. Thought that would stop the attacks, not make them bigger. Alright, so how much is it to make these green bottles? We're gonna make 10. Yeah, we're gonna just go ahead and make these green bottles. So we can get the grenades going. I think grenades are probably what's going to help me get rid of these damn things. Come on, come on, come on. Almost got this one. You're about to pop. As far as I get an aggro on me. There's one nest left, but it's surrounded by those freaking things. Uh, that's not good. Uh, 
Oh shit. Come on. Alright, five grenades should be enough to help me deal with this. That's not good. I just see explosions going on up there. I just realized the recording crashed and I took out two nests. Um, my bad. I didn't have enough dis disk space. Anyway, we took out the other two nests, and we're about to take out this last one. I made sure I had plenty of ammo, and we're nearly done. Come on. There we go. Yeah, so there's one more nest up here, but it's too big, I think, for us to even take on. Surprised I didn't attack this coal area. And there's some very loud music. Mark all that shit is red. Let's go check on this up here and just see. How big are you? Our pollution's expanding quite a bit, but. It's a nice coal in mine. Uh, that's not going to be any fun to deal with. Alright, so I guess we'll have to worry about that guy later. But for now, let's grab some fish over in this bigger lake. Alright, I got the better inserters, so that's good. Yeah, but yeah like I said, I'm going to end the episode off as soon as I finish. Thank you guys all very much for watching this. It was fun. I really like this game. This first episode I felt like it was kind of rushed, but... Um, I hope you guys stick around for the next one. Alright, well this is what we got so far, so... Come and see me again next time, alright?